This very large tree behind us here is an American persimmon. Here at Forbes Outdoors Farms, this tree produces thousands of persimmons, but they're relatively small, about the half the size of a golf ball. The deer and wildlife love them, but what we're doing now is taking some of the wild stock persimmons that have grown up from the seeds from this large tree, and we're going to graft onto some oriental persimmons. They get as large as a baseball, and some of them almost as big as a softball. Most are non-astringent. If you get the fuyus, you can eat them like an apple. They hang on the tree from September to January. They have the shelf life of about six weeks. If you pull them off and just set them back, again, you can eat them like an apple. You do not have to wait, as the old timer says, until it frosts really meaning until they get ripe. They will not pucker you. They're very good eating and the wildlife love them. And one small tree may produce 100 pounds or so of these very large, non-astringent Fuyu persimmons. We're grafting from this tree rootstock to the oriental persimmons that we brought in. You can graft, get them from most nurseries especially in the southern part of the United States. Most Americans are not familiar with them, but in the Orient, it's probably the number one fruit outside of the mango. These are called scion wood. It's just a piece of a tree that you're wanting to graft onto an American persimmon rootstock. Six or eight inches, at least three buds, more preferably, and we're going to graft them, top graft them, onto an American rootstock persimmon that's been growing wild. These fuyus are non-astringent, which means they won't pucker your mouth up. You can eat them like an apple. And come on, they'll, they'll last anywhere from September to, to January on the tree. I'm going to top graft this American persimmon tree with a fuyu. I'm gonna cut the top out of it, just like that. Throw that off to the side. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one over here. This is, this is a double branch tree, and I'm gonna take a chance by grafting two of them on the same tree. A good sharp saw. I'm going to split the main trunk of this rootstock tree. Take me a little mallet and a good sharp knife and I'm gonna split it down three to four inches. Just make a wedge. Leave it just like that, that'll be fine. I'm gonna cut it on both sides at an angle. Try to keep the inside angle just a little bit smaller than the outside. You've got a, a layer of bark in there called a kumbus. It's right in here. You don't wanna to touch it with your fingers and you wanna line that with the tree of Arcumus in here. And that's what produces your good graft. Don't touch the Kumbus if you can keep from it. You've got to set the bark back just a little bit from your scion from the main tree because it is larger and it needs to touch. That's where you get your connection. That's where the graft will start taking. Wedge it down in there and get you another one just in case one doesn't take. Okay, we're gonna set this one in here just like we did the other one. Pull a wedge out a little bit. Let it shrink in there real good and tight onto the, the scion wood. That's called a scion. If both of these grafts take, you'll ch choose the one that is the stronger of the two and keep it going good and kind of cut the other one back just a little bit. What I'm doing right now is putting a grafting wax on there to seal the wound so that the tree itself can heal and it'll heal right around that graft. And the rootstock will provide the nourishment for the new type fruit 
which will be the Fuyu persimmon. These are very large, very sweet, non-astringent. They come from Japan and China. The Orient grows them very well. Once you get an oriental persimmon established on your property, you can cut small pieces of wood off of the limb and graft it, it's called a scion wood, and you can top graft it onto the old wild persimmon that's growing in your farm. Don't cut them down. It'll save you five to 10 years growth because your root provides plenty of nourishment for this small piece of oriental fuyu persimmon that we've grafted on there. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of money. This tree will be 10 years ahead of a seedling.